right, Brooke, what game are we playing today? Dimension. Ooh, and do you like Dimension? Yeah, I do. Why? Because it's a puzzle game and it's confusing. Yeah, it's a <laughs> spatial puzzle. It takes some different mental capacity, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you like the challenge? I do. Sweet. Well, what's the objective in Dimension? The objective is to follow the rules and get as many points as you can. Oh, I like it when you have to follow rules for points. Yeah, except <laughs> for the rules change every time. Every time? Every time. Ooh. Well, how many times do you play? You play six rounds for okay. each game. And the rules change every round. Mm -hmm. And how many rules are there each round? There are six rules each round. Ooh. Should be pretty simple, right? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Well, I see what you've got here. There's a bunch of spheres. Cool. Mm -hmm. All different colors. All These right. Well, why don't you tell me how to play? These cards over here are little rule cards. Okay. Kind of. So I'm just going to flip out the first six. So in round number one, what do these mean? Um, so this first one means you can only have one blue out there. Okay. This one is saying that green can't touch black. Okay. This one is saying all whites and all blacks have to touch. This one's saying there has to be more green than orange. This one is saying that white can't be on top of anything. Okay. And blue has to be on top of everything. Ooh. So you got six varied rules there. Yeah. And you've got to build a pyramid with a timer and comply with all, well, as many as you can, huh? Yes. These are all the rules over here. The one that is not out right now is this one. And it's just saying that out of those two colors, so black or blue and orange, there has to be four total. Okay, of those two colors combined. Yes. Cool, so everybody's got one of those. Yeah. Everybody's got their spears. We got the rules out. Okay. All right. Flip that timer. Let's roll. I think that's right. And then she checks her rules. <laughs> the timer's still going. There's something that I'm missing. All right. What is it? <laughs> okay. All right. So well, then time is out and we'll you think you got it. Forget the time. Now, how do you score? Now what we'll do is, before you even go through the rules, everybody takes as many points as you have spheres in your little triangle. So okay. I would get 11, those two would get 11, and this guy would get 10. Because I've used 11 spheres and he's only used 10, so 10 points. And you start with 10 points at the start of the game. Yeah, you start with 10 points. All right, so 11 points to them. And 11 to you for using that right. many. Okay, great. Those are 11. That seems now, pretty simple. Now what? Now we go through the rules. Okay. So there's one blue. One blue, one blue, one blue. Okay. So everybody Every used just one blue. Sweet. Yes. Okay. So we can forget that one. Greens and blacks do not touch. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. Looks like everybody's one's good. good. All right. Okay. Whites and blacks have to touch. So every black has to touch a white, and every white has to touch at least one black. This one's good. Looks like you got it good. Yeah. That one is too. All so right. This one, and I'm pretty sure that one. Yep. All right. Wow, we're doing pretty good. So nice. Um. Okay. More green than orange. I have three green, two orange. Three to good. two. That one this one's is got the three same. and three. Three and three. So, so when you miss a rule like that one, if you didn't follow it, you have to lose two for each rule. You okay, to do. take away two points. And how about this one? This one's that got one's three orange and no two green, good. so they lose two points. And this one's three and three, so they lose two points as well. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, whites have to be on the bottom, pretty much. Ooh, whites can't go on top of anything. Good. This guy loses Good. two points. So. <laughs> Struggling. Okay, but everybody else is clear on that one. Okay. And then blue can't be under anything. Blue can't be under anything. Okay, blue on top, blue on top, blue on top. Okay. All right, so no more lost points there. Okay, then what? Then... If you do not lose any points, like 
You went with all of the rules. Uh huh. And you used one of each color. At least one of each color, yeah. You get one of these little things. Oh, you get a bonus. I'm the only person that actually did that. Because everybody else <laughs> lost some points. <laughs> Score. What do the bonuses do for you? The bonus tokens can either take away or give you points. Okay. Depending on how many you have. Ooh. So, in the rules, it shows if you have one, two, three, however many you're going to get. Oh, okay. So, so you have to get three just to break even. Yeah. Woo. So right now I'd be losing three points. Okay, but you've only played one round, so you've got a chance to get That's more. That's true. Yeah. It would have been cool to have those instead of in the rule book. Well, have them on. In here. addition to the rule book, to have them also on the reference sheet because mm -hmm. we've referred back to it a few times. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sweet. And then what do you do to start the next round? Then you put all your things back. However, Let them roll around back. the table. <laughs> and then, after they've finished rolling around the table, then you get rid of these, put them in a discard pile, and pull out six more. Alright, Brooke, so what would you rate Dimension? I'd rate it a four. Yeah, that's a fun one. It is definitely a challenging <laughs> one, and it plays really quickly. Mm hmm. Fun Pretty to fast. Yep, fun to pull out for most anyone, right? Yeah, most anyone. Well, eight and up, but. If you have smart people that are younger, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Brooke. You're welcome.